It has been 20 years, but talking about Super Bowl 38 still gets Panthers legend Moose and Muhammad all fired up. Well, let me just uh, clear, clear, I, I still haven't recovered. He came this close. They all did to beating the Patriots and winning it all back in 2004. Over the years, it's gotten easier to accept. But then Super Bowl weekend rolls around and Moose admits the emotions always come flooding back. Not only does it replay in my mind, it replays on TV and then, you know, I get a bunch of calls and texts and people reminding me of, you know, how close and how tight that game was. What if? That's a question the former wide receiver asks himself a lot. What if the Panthers offense kicked in a little earlier? What if John Casey's late kick didn't go out of bounds? And lastly, what if the game went into overtime? No disrespect to their defense, but they were missing quite a few good players there. And I think had that gone in the overtime, um, you know, we could have went right back down the field at a minimum, put ourselves in field goal position, but probably scored as well. Oh, the agony. But that begs the question, is it better to have played and lost in the big game than to have never played at all? If you know the type of competitor Muhammad is, well, his answer shouldn't surprise you. I've been blessed enough to play in that game um, m multiple times and have uh, really good performances both times uh, played in that game. So, uh, you know, I, I guess uh, to love and loss, you know, I guess I I'll go with that one. So don't feel bad for him is ultimately what he's saying. Despite coming up short again in the big game a few years later with the Bears, he still has no regrets. Hey, it's two decades later, and his 85-yard score still stands as the Super Bowl's record for longest touchdown reception. I'll be... Uh, embracing it and, until someone uh, goes out there and beats it. But even when that happens, Moose will still be a part of history. Yeah, it's easy to get fired up about that. Mike Lissette, Charlotte Sports Live.